Shiye Kenda Yinishye People of the Inside Nishle Shizidalche Bashachin People of the Clear Salt Water Dashiche Tabaha Dashinale Akotiego Dene Adzan Nishle To my native blood, from my white blood, I owe you an apology. I'm sorry that my people used to say the only good Indian was a dead Indian, that your brown skin and your religion are too heathen, that your lives are worthless, only as good as the money I could earn for the pieces of your land and body that I stole. I'm sorry that the term redskin doesn't describe the endless resilience of your hearts nor the sunset rays on your sepia skin, but for the thousands of dripping scalps I paid for in the name of conquest. I'm sorry that you are the merciless Indian savages I didn't care to understand. The villains in our storybooks, boogeymen out for our women and children, our very lives, saved by the likes of John Wayne Westerns. I'm sorry that you are the bastard children of manifest destiny in the American dream. Such prideful parents overstepping boundaries, breaking treaties, murder in the name of freedom, you look at me when I'm killing you. I'm sorry that they ignored freedom's first children here already, paving the way for the offspring of European ideology and colonialism. Genocidal graveyards of church-funded residential schools filled with, the broken, filled with the bones of broken brown bodies are the only gift I have left for you. I'm sorry that you are Indians in the cupboard, hidden away unless necessary, that you are forgotten at thankful family dinners, twisted into mediocrity, monster notoriety, and absent from history. I'm sorry that one little brown girl isn't white enough for you. From her native blood to her white blood, I'm sorry that she is too brown for you. She is too loud for you. That she voted for the wrong vice president to you because you are scared of people who don't look like you. I'm sorry that her voice isn't quiet enough for you. Grandchild 25, beloved cousin, favorite niece the child that was named after you. In a sea of broken, drifting, half-assed apologies and Facebook tags, how does it feel to be ignored now? At what point do you look in that mirror and remember you left her in the dust because you wouldn't, couldn't, and refused to understand that she still waits by the phone for birthday calls that don't come every year? I'm sorry that one little brown girl isn't enough for you. I'm sorry that one brown girl isn't enough for you. I'm sorry that one girl isn't enough for you. I'm sorry that I'm not enough for you. To my white blood from my native blood, I owe you an apology. I'm sorry that my people consider you the embodiment of the devil, that your whiteness is forsaken and your culture is desecration, that your mother has to be introduced as a native woman with her proud English roots erased so that your people don't ignore her when she's trying to buy fry bread at the powwow. So your people don't whisper dirty names when she's looking at their stalls in the flea market. So your own grandmother could shut the fuck up about how much she wished you weren't as white as you are. As if your mother's worth, as if your worth, is measured only by the amount of native blood in your veins, I'm sorry that those numbers on bright pea green papers, certificates of Indian blood certified by the Bureau of Indian Affairs are the only thing that you are worthy of. You registered government, excuse me, you registered pedigree government dog. I'm sorry that my people are just as bad, just as lost, just as prejudiced as yours, that we sit on broken pedestals, 
hidden in metal graveyards. Talking about how good and proud are we, look at our resilience, Shiash. Your tax dollars pay for my six month vacations. I only see the native side of you, little sister. Look at how far we've come. Navajo girls don't lick knives. Navajo girls don't climb trees. Navajo girls cook their man dinner. Navajo girls know how to make bread. Navajo girls make good wives. Navajo girls don't sound white. Navajo girls don't sound city. Oh, you grew up on a reservation. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry that we are always dismissing the white man and the white devil as if words could crush the white part of you to dust, leaving only the bits and pieces we want, like those old Indian scalps we hate so much. I'm sorry that one little brown girl isn't enough for you. From her white blood to her native blood, I'm sorry that she is too white for you, that she is too bilagana for you. I'm sorry that her tongue struggles to wrap around words that you breathe like air. Shandin, sunlight. Gohe, coffee. Dene, the people. Akie, family. Hogan, home. Ayo, ani nishne, I love you. I'm sorry that her feet feel drumbeats of a song that her body has long forgotten, that her whiteness is visible in the curls of her hair. I'm sorry that she is not the perfect 100% native girl like the rest of your grandkids. I'm sorry that she is the visible product of love and care that you couldn't afford to your own fucking children. To my blood from my heart, I am sorry. I'm sorry you are lost. I'm sorry you are angry. I wish I could give you the world, little brown girl, but all I can give you is maybe. Maybe one day we will be heard. Maybe one day I will find my place. That both sides of my family will stop calling each other devils and heathens. Maybe one day I will not be one of a handful of native students I've met in eight years of forced assimilation for the purposes of education. Tell me, how the fuck does making baskets teach you how to be yourself? Does it make you feel better to call me a colonizer instead of recognizing your own blood quantum prejudice because you are darker than me? That that four over four instead of my two over four is the only thing that makes you superior to me. Maybe one day I'll find that little brown girl lost through that minefield maze of anger. Maybe one day I will stop being that token Indian, important only because people feel obligated to let me speak, as if my words could speak for the 500 tribes of this country. Maybe I will stop being seen for the stereotypical food descriptions and storybooks. Warm caramel latte skin, almond candy eyes, and thick dark chocolate locks. My only value as physical worth, my mere existence is a debate, a question to be answered. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I will not be a comma, I will not be a period. I am no longer the end of a sentence, nor a paraphrased political purpose. I will reaffirm my existence. Beauty is behind me, beauty is before me, my words will be beautiful. So understand me in English, the language of your fathers. I am alive and I am not sorry.